Right, we're with our good friend Stephen from Farmhand today and we're in, what county are we in? We've West awfully Meath. done this morning. This is West Meath. I think so, is it? This is, how, this is how, where are we? Are we in West Meath? We're in West Meath, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to ask you quickly, Stephen, why did you get behind us in this uh, sort of, I'll call it maybe ludicrous challenge that we've set ourselves this week? Yeah. Uh, it has to be about the charities, Gareth. We're, we've worked with you before and we know uh, you do great work for charity and any time you come to us with a sometimes crazy idea, we know that uh, there's a good heart behind it and that the money raised is going to go to a really good cause. So uh, any time we hear of an idea that you come up with, we just uh, want to give it our yeah. all. Well, this particular challenge here, um, 32 counties, six days, trying to get 100 bills in every county, um, normally when we come to you and we look at a machine, they would be uh, spotless. <laughs> that is not the case here as the camera will see. We are pushing these machines, tractors, machines, men to the limit. But just on the machine, are you confident this is a machine suited to Ireland? or? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think people who know Chrome Bailers know that uh, we have had our troubles with them in the past. I think uh, every manufacturer has their good times and their bad times, but this machine really has been modified and developed in Ireland. So the past three or four seasons have been have been great, and we just want to get the get the machine out there so people can see it, uh, put it under pressure, and uh, I think people will see then that it really is a good machine. It's a big machine. Mm. It's a very big machine, um, travels real well. What do you think of the tractor that we've hitched it up onto ah, here in this challenge? Perfect, it's a lovely outfit, yeah. It's, I'd say it's ideal. Uh, it is a big machine, but, <laughs> and this uh, sounds like I'm making it up, a lot of it is the panels um, and the height of it. So it kind of looks bigger than it is. Um, it's not that heavy machine. And then with the twin axle, it's not too heavy on the ground either. Well, um, I'd just like to thank you on behalf of the the committee that's organising this and Grassman for your support and for uh, keeping someone with us because when you're putting new drivers and experienced drivers into anything, um, you know yourself, mm -hmm. there's going to be wee issues and buttons that may be pressed that shouldn't be pressed and <laughs> all I can say is uh, anything, anything that has bank went wrong all week <laughs> it's really been nothing to do with a baler or any <laughs> baler, it's to do with uh, Aussie just pushing and poking the wrong buttons so no, thank you very much for your continued support and uh, it, 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 it's turning out to be quite a spectacle at this it stage. Is, so. It is, we're delighted to do it, thank you very much Gareth. One question, hmm. can we keep the baler a couple of days and put it on to the old girl? Of course you can, yeah. Love to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Good man. Thank you, guys. As promised, Stephen allowed us to keep the baler for a little while longer. With its own onboard hydraulic system, the Crone Comprima baler is able to run on a wider variety of machines. We just couldn't resist the temptation to hook it up to our own Case 1455. One of the stipulations was that everybody had to bail. 
so I decided to try out the Crone Comprima CF155. I grabbed Gary Ryan from Farmhand and he talked me through the basics. I'm just coming in to start bailing. That's, I'm talking ABC, I'm talking, just treat me as completely stupid. Okay. So I'm completely stupid by the way. <laughs> right. But I know a wee bit, yeah. right? I know they started my PTO. PTO, and uh, she runs at 540 or a little bit above it. Okay, drop your pickup in the floor. Where you Doors go? down, everything's good to go. Good to go. What sort of gear would we be in? Um, I start off low, we'll, we'll pick up speed as we go. Well, you, want, you want me to teach? Want me to learn? Uh, we'll take it faster than that now. That's <laughs> oh, alright. As the bale gets full, you'll see the, the black graph rise. So, yeah, hope she's coming. No, no, you're okay. Is that just telling me she's rising? Uh, no, no, yeah. No, there you go. Whoa, whoa. Stop. There you go, your net's gone in. So you, you can see now your, your rear table has dropped into the receiving position. Lay it out. Door drops. Away you go. Clutch and brake. That's it. <laughs> this bailing is easy. Well, do you enjoy your job? I, yeah. Yeah, I do. Every day is a challenge. But you weren't always a crone man. No, no, I have uh, worked along for a long time with, uh, with John Deere equipment. See, man after my own heart at the end of the day. <laughs> Tell the truth now. Well, what's your, what's your favourite machine to work with? Yeah, Big M, Big X. Like the Big M, Big uh, X? Probably my favourite though would be the Big Packs. They're, they're, they're quite good. They're, uh... Could you teach me how to drive one of them? Yeah, by all means. Can we get the 315 on one? We'll get a 4x4 on the 315 and see can the 315 actually drive it. What? Are we serious? I'm not being smart. Are you being serious? Is, um, that, is, it, as tough a, is it as tough a go as that, is it? I know, we will drive it all right. We'll drive it. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Good girl. How did you judge that? I think you've bailed before. No, I haven't. Very little. And I'm being serious. Would it convert you from a forager man to a bailer man? No! <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. I don't like the transfer now. I think she's a wee bit slow at transferring the bail over, personally. Yeah? A wee bit slow now. But I think it's the bailer to watch. The transfer time is, is maybe a little bit slower, but we can make, I, I think we can make up the time in the bail on the bail. That's the gear too fast then. Yeah. So if you if you let off your revs, for, what I'd always do is let off the revs first. I wouldn't even bother with that. I'd always see sometimes. Just try her in. Yeah, just like so. Then. Lift up your, your knives and drop floor. There you go. Back into pickup mode. Top right, yeah, there you go. I'd love let this. I like to be way out on my own sometime just to yeah. get on to it, you know. Yeah, that's what you really learn. Aye. Of course it is. You get out into the field or you can make your own mistakes and rectify them yourself. Yeah. <coughs> no, no teaching like self taught No. I agree. Ooh, the only bailer left bailing. Last row. Don't mess it up now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm quite happy. <laughs> it is what it is. What man doesn't jam a reel? Yeah. What man doesn't? And I'm prepared to say that man is me. What man won't hit a gatepost trying to get that low loader in out of places? Boy, she's a brute, hey. 
And let you take her from here, Donkey, yeah? I think we'll get managed, you know. You don't think? Oh, I think you're mastered it. One field, expert level. <laughs> 